Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to learn how to divide fractions the easy way. This can be applied to any fractions you can think of. Say if we had 3 on 4 and we wanted to divide that by 1 on 5 or 1 fifth. This is quite a simple procedure. We keep the first fraction as it is, 3 on 4 is 3 on 4, and then we change the division sign into a multiplication sign. But when we do this, we also have to flip the second fraction upside down. So that'll be 5 on 1. So instead of 1 on 5, we change the uh, division sign into a multiplication sign and we flip the second fraction upside down. We then simply multiply the numerators together. So 3 times 5 is 15 and 4 times 1 is 4. Because we have an improper fraction, we have to convert it into a mixed number. If you don't know what an improper fraction is, make sure to check the video in the description. So what we do is we simply divide the 15 by the 4. So how many times does 4 go into 15? 4 threes are 12. So 3 times and 3 remainder. Put that over the division line and then keep the denominator 4. So that there, 3 and 3 fourths is our final answer for this question. Say if we had another question where we were asked to divide a half by a quarter. Again, same rules apply. We keep the first fraction as it is, so a half, and then we change the division sign into a multiplication sign, and we flip the second fraction upside down, so 4 on 1 instead of 1 on 4. So this is essential. If we change the division sign into a multiplication sign, we also have to flip the second fraction. We then go ahead and multiply out the numerators. So 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and that is our final answer. So now we've learned how to divide two fractions together. What if we were asked to divide 2 by 1 fifth? Again, same rules apply. We keep the our original number 2 as it is. But this time, however, we write it over 1 because 2 divided by 1 is the same as 2. So we basically just change it into a fraction form just to make it a little more easier for us to follow. We then again have to change the division sign into multiplication sign. But when we do this, we also have to flip the second fraction upside down. So instead of 5 over 1, we write 5 on 1. We then simply go ahead and multiply out the numerators. 2 times 5 is 10. And 1 times 1 is 1. So 10 divided by 1 is simply 10. If we had another question where we were asked to divide the 2 by 3 quarters, or 3 on 4. Again, we keep our 2 but I'm going to convert it into a fraction just so it's easier to follow. We then change the division sign into a multiplication sign, and when we do this, we have to flip the second fraction upside down. So 4 on 3 from 3 on 4. We then simply multiply out the numerators and the denominators. So 2 times 4 equals 8, while 1 times 3 is 3. Again, this is an improper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. What we have to do is, we have to change this into a mixed number. If we divide 8 into 3, it goes 2 times. 2 threes are 6, with 2 left over. We write that over the division line, and we keep our 3 as the denominator. And that is your final answer, 2 and 2 thirds. Now let's take a look at how we divide mixed numbers. Say if you, for example, had 3 and a half divided by a half. The first step here is that we must convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. The way we do this is we multiply the 3 by the 2, and then we add the 1, or the numerator. So 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, so 7 on 2. Again, we convert the division sign into a multiplication sign, and when we do that, we have to flip the second fraction upside down, and then we multiply out the numerators and the denominators. So 7 twos are 14, and 2 ones are 2. Then 14 divided by 2 is simply 7. 
One final example of dividing this sort of fraction, say if we had one and a half divided by a quarter. We first have to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction, so one times two is two, plus one is three. So three on two, and then we change the division sign into a multiplication sign, and we have to flip the second fraction upside down, so four on one. We then multiply out the numerators and the denominators as we did before. Three fours are 12, and two ones are two, and then 12 divided by two is six. We'll do two more examples of dividing a mixed fraction by a mixed fraction. So say if we had one and three quarters divided by one and one fifth. First thing again, we have to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So one times four is four plus three is seven. So seven on four divided by one times five is five plus one is six. So six on five. We then again keep the first fraction as it is, seven on four. We then change the division sign into a multiplication sign, and then we fifth and then we flip the second fraction upside down so it becomes five on six, and then we go ahead and multiply that out. Seven fives are thirty-five and four sixes are twenty-four. Again, because the numerator is bigger than the denominator, it's an improper fraction, so we have to convert that into a mixed number. So 35 divided into 24 goes one time, with 11 left over, and over 24. That looks like a pretty gross fraction, but fortunately that is the, um, the correct answer. One final example of dividing a mixed number by a mixed number. Say if we had 2 and a half, and we want to divide that by one and one quarter. What we first have to do is convert both these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So two twos are four plus one is five. So five on two. Then one times four is four plus one is five. Five on four. We keep the first fraction as it is. So five on two. We then change the division sign into a multiplication sign. And then we have to flip the second fraction upside down. So four on five. Five fours are 20 and two fives are 10. 20 divided by 10 is simply two. And that is our final answer. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any further questions, make sure to leave a comment and give it a thumbs up for our future videos. Thank you for watching.